okay ji so today our topic is homogeneity of physical equations so first of all what is the meaning of this word homogeneity homogeneity means of similar kind koi cheez ek jaisi ho to that is known as homogeneity so what is the similar thing in the physical equations uh, the in physical equation the similar thing is the base units in any physical equation if the base units of all the terms are same then it is known as homogeneous equation so in homogeneous equation base units of all the terms are same so let's take the example of this equation this is an equation of motion you will study this equation in the second chapter kinematics so here s is displacement u is initial velocity t is time a is acceleration and again t is time now we have to check whether this equation is homogeneous or not so the first term in this equation is this s the displacement so the units of s are meters then the second term is ut so units of ut kya banenge u is initial speed so it is meters per second and the unit of time is second so it will be meter second minus 1 plus 1 because power will be added and meter minus 1 plus 1 0 second ki power 0 aa gayi so it will become 1 aur ye puri ki puri term aa gayi meter so the unit of the first term is meter unit of the second term is also meter now let's see the units of the third term units of 1 by 2 at square it is a third term in this equation so 1 by 2 is a digit it has no units the units of acceleration are meter per second square and the units of t square t ka unit aapke paas aa jayega seconds and square because it is t square to unit ke sath bhi aage square lag jayega so again meter Minus uh, s power minus two s power two meter s minus two plus two and meter s power zero is equal to meter. It means that this equation, this given equation, is homogeneous. S is equal to u t plus one by two a t square. It is a homogeneous equation. Why it is homogeneous equation? because the base units of all the terms in this equation are same acha now yes, let's sir. suppose we have another equation or wo equation hamare paas kya hai s is equal to u t square plus 1 by 2 at ab kisi student ne kisi bande ne ye question likh di hai now we have to check whether this equation is homogeneous or not so यूनिट्स ऑफ फर्स्ट टर्म हम देख लेते हैं वो हमारे पास मीटर आ गए यूनिट्स ऑफ सेकंड टर्म यू टी स्क्वायर यू के यूनिट्स आके मीटर पर सेकंड द यूनिट्स ऑफ टाइम आर सेकंड स्क्वायर सो इट इज मीटर माइनस वन प्लस टू so the units of ut square are meter second now because this term does not have the same unit as this one koi ek term ke bhi unit different ho jaye it means that this equation is not homogeneous lekin uh, just for learning hum dekhte hain ki what are the units of the third term so units of 1 by 2 at is मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर एक्सीलरेशन के और टाइम के सेकेंड सो मीटर सेकेंड की माइनस टू प्लस वन 
meters per second. So in this equation, all three terms have different units. So it is a non-homogeneous. And even one of them is different, it will be a non-homogeneous equation. Now, here we will note that the equation hoti hai, which is not homogeneous, like this one, it is always a wrong equation. It is physically incorrect equation. This is the equation you have seen. This is the equation. Hai, it is non homogeneous. And because it is non homogeneous, so it means that it is. Wrong equation. Ye physically incorrect equation. Hai. However, if you find that an equation is homogeneous, it does not always mean that it is a correct equation. It is possible that an equation is homogeneous, but it is physically incorrect. Right? Your point some of Yes, sir. Home, right, okay. Now, let's see this example. The equations will be homogeneous, but it will be a wrong equation. The correct equation is written on top. This is a correct equation. S is equal to ut plus 1 by 2 at square. This is a physically correct equation. Now, let's see some variations. Let's suppose someone write it like this. S is equal to 1 by 2 ut plus 280 square. What happened in this? The coefficients have changed. Here, in the actual, S is equal to the actual of t. That is, S is equal to ut plus 1 by 280 square. इस इक्वेशन में अगर आप देखें तो यू टी से पहले 1 by 2 लगा हुआ है और ए टी इसके से पहले 2 लगा हुआ है कोएफिशिएंट जो हैं दो आर डिफरेंट एंड बिकॉज़ दे डोंट हैव एनी यूनिट्स तो इट इज स्टिल होमोजेनियस बट इट इज अ रॉन्ग इक्वेशन सिमिलरली सेकंड एग्जांपल देख लें s 1/2 इसके अंदर जो फर्स्ट टर्म है यू टी की दैट इज मिसिंग सो देयर आर ओनली टू टर्म्स एंड द यूनिट्स ऑफ बोथ द टर्म्स आर द सेम so again, it is a homogeneous equation, but it is incorrect equation. Or the third example, if you look at S is equal to ut plus vt. Now, this vt it is an additional term. The physically correct equation is not in vt. But if someone has written this as well, again, because it is also meter per second into second, its unit will be meter, yaenge, but it is physically incorrect equation because of this additional term. Ab, uh, any question so far? Ab hai, koi question no, sir. Chha, now, ab aap koi question a sakte hai, different. You are given an equation uh, that may be an equation unknown to you and you have to find whether that equation is homogeneous or not. Right? So, first example is this equation. This is an equation in uh, stretched string, the speed of the wave in a stretched string. Uh, v is the speed, F is the tension in the string, L is length of the string, and M is mass of the string. So, we will see that the units of both the terms are same or not. So, units of V, which is simple call it left hand side it is speed so it is meter per second now unit subject that they have right hand side k units of force tension those are Newton the units of length are meter and the units of mass are kilogram and as we have here the square root and the square root means power 1 by 2. So, this power is 1 by 2. Now, it is not clear yet because we have to convert this into base units. 
तो अब हमने न्यूटन को हमने बिकॉज न्यूटन इज नॉट अ बेस यूनिट तो न्यूटन को हमने कन्वर्ट कर लेना है इनटू बेस यूनिट एंड यू स्टेटेड दैट वन न्यूटन इज इक्वल टू वन किलोग्राम मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर बिकॉज एफ इज इक्वल टू एम इंटू ए सो इंस्टेड ऑफ न्यूटन वी कैन राइट हियर किलोग्राम मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर देन ये वाला मीटर इधर आ जाएगा divided by kilogram and whole power 1 by 2 this kilogram will get cancelled with this kilogram and you are left with meter 1 plus 1 we have this meter and this meter the power will be added and second minus 2 power 1 by 2 then further meter square per second square power 1 by 2 and again now you have studied the uh, law in maths a power m power n is equal to a power m into n the powers are multiplied so yahan pe bhi ye hoga m ki power 2 into 1 by 2 And s power minus two into one by two, so m power one and s power minus one meter per second. So the left hand side, the units of left hand side, the units of first term is meters per second, and the units on the right hand side are also meters per second. It means that this equation is homo. genius equation now another equation einstein's equation e is equal to mc square so uh, sir we... ji ji sir pooch rahe hain hum calculation kar rahe hain ye kya paper mein ye aise karna padega waise ya waise in general ye part of syllabus hai uh, it is part of the syllabus aur ye aapke questions aate hain ye aapko karna padega theek hai means aap skip kar sakte hain it depends upon your mathematical skills आप लाजमी नहीं आगे अगर आपको कुछ लग रहा है कि इट इज अंडरस्टूड तो आप उस दरमियान में से स्टेप मिस कर सकते हैं इफ यू आर गुड एट मैथ्स बट आपको प्रोसीजर करना पड़ेगा ठीक है अच्छा नाउ द आइंस्टाइन इक्वेशन इज इक्वल टू एम सी स्क्वेयर सो यूनिट्स ऑफ ई एनर्जी व्हाट आर द यूनिट्स ऑफ एनर्जी जाउल एंड जाउल इज इक्वल टू energy is equal to work and work is equal to uh, f into d means newton meter so newton meter and newton meter means kilogram meter per second square into meter so kilogram meter square per second square these are the units of energy and the second term is एम सी स्क्वेयर वे सी इज द स्पीड सो यूनिट्स ऑफ मैथ आर किलोग्राम एंड यूनिट्स ऑफ स्पीड आर मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड बिकॉज इट इज सी स्क्वेयर तो मीटर पर सेकेंड का भी आपका आ जाएगा स्क्वेयर सो इट विल बिकम किलोग्राम मीटर स्क्वेयर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर इसको देखें आप द यूनिट्स ऑफ फर्स्ट टर्म एंड द यूनिट्स ऑफ सेकेंड टर्म दे आर सेम सो दिस इक्वेशन इज ऑल्सो होमोजीनियस इक्वेशन अच्छा अब वेन यू नो दैट एन इक्वेशन इज होमोजीनियस इट मीन्स दैट द बेस यूनिट्स ऑफ ऑल द टर्म्स आर सेम सो इस चीज को हम यूज करते हैं टू फाइंड द यूनिट्स ऑफ अन नॉन क्वान्टिटी मीन्स क्वान्टिटी हुज यूनिट्स आर अन नॉन तो ये हम पहले भी करते रहे हैं जो हमने यूनिट्स हम फाइंड करते हैं ऑफ एनी फिजिकल क्वान्टिटी तो हम इसी तरीके से करते हैं कि उसके जो बेस यूनिट्स होते हैं और एनी यूनिट्स उनको हम इक्वल करते हैं सो so, ये हमने पहले भी कर लिया हुआ यू कैन डू इट बट अगेन इस होमोजीन इस इक्वेशन के अंदर दोबारा से इसकी एक एग्जांपल ले लेते हैं सो दिस इज एन इक्वेशन एफ इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पाई ईटा आर वी ये तो ये चीज है इट इज ईटा इट विल बी अ न्यू टर्म फॉर यू सो वी हैव टू फाइंड यूनिट्स ऑफ दिस क्वान्टिटी ईटा फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन दिस इक्वेशन ईटा ETA 
ये एन से थोड़ा सा लंबा ऐसे करके एन लिख के ना थोड़ा सा नीचे ऐसे कर दो अच्छा राइट सो अब हमने इसके अंदर से ईटा के हमने यूनिट्स फाइंड आउट करने हैं सो बिकॉज वी हैव टू फाइंड द यूनिट्स ऑफ ईटा तो इसको हम पहले अगर हम सब्जेक्ट बना लें तो इट वुड बी गुड एफ ओवर सिक्स पाई आर इन टू बी नाउ बिकॉज इट इज अ करेक्ट इक्वेशन यू आर गिवन दैट इट इज अ करेक्ट इक्वेशन एंड बिकॉज इट इज अ करेक्ट इक्वेशन इट इज अमोजीनियस इक्वेशन इट मीन्स दैट द यूनिट्स ऑफ द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वुड बी इक्वल टू द यूनिट्स ऑफ राइट हैंड साइड सो यूनिट्स ऑफ ईटा विल बी इक्वल टू द यूनिट्स ऑफ दिस टर्म सो इस टर्म के यूनिट क्या होंगे यूनिट्स ऑफ फोर्स आर न्यूटन डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्स पाई इज अ डिजिट इट इज अ नंबर इट हैज नो यूनिट्स आर इज द रेडियस इट हैज यूनिट्स ऑफ मीटर एंड बी इज द स्पीड velocity it has units of meters per second isko agar aap further solve kare to 1 newton is equal to kilogram meter per second square divided by meter meter per second this meter will cancel with this meter so kilogram per meter ye jo niche wala meter tha ye upar chal ke per meter ban jayega and s ki power minus 2 plus 1 because the power uh, the sign of the power gets changed when it is it goes from denominator to numerator or numerator to denominator so niche denominator mein iski power minus 1 thi upar ja ke plus ho jayegi so kilogram per meter per second these are the units of this quantity okay right any question no sir okay now another thing that can be asked from this topic homogeneity of physical equations uh, is you can also find unknown power in a formula means you are given a partial formula kuch cheeze aapko pata hai kuch cheeze aapko nahi pata like ye hai ka aapka past paper ka question frequency of vibration of a mass m spotted by a spring with spring constant k is given by the equation now in this equation you are given the units of c they have no units m is mass k is spring constant q no its units the power p and q are unknown means the equation to sahi hai but aapko iski power nahi pata so what are the power of p and q so you have to find the power of p and q uh, power p and q so again you will use the same thing the homogeneity because it is a true equation so units of frequency isi se hum kar lete hain frequency ke units kya hote hain hertz so hertz will be equal to c has no unit because it is given c is a constant with no units power massive unit ho gayi kilogram so kilogram power p and k is spring constant spring constant is ye humne study kiya tha f is equal to kx in all levels humne study kiya hua hai where k is the constant k is equal to f over x and its units are thus newton per meter because x is the extension so extension is in meters newton per meter so the units of spring constant are newton per meter and its power is q now you have to convert all of these units into base units so hertz is equal to per second we have already done this kilogram power p it will be as it is newton so instead of newton we can write kilogram meter per second square uske sath per meter aa jayega power q now this will be straight forward cancel from this one kilogram power p and from here kilogram per second square power q now s minus 1 so kilogram power p and now here it will be kilogram power q 
and s power minus 2q second power minus 1 kilogram p plus q add ho jayenge a ki power m into a ki power n is equal to a ki power m plus n this was the law of index you studied so kilogram power p plus q and s power minus 2q now on right hand side we have kilogram and second whereas on left hand side we have only second we have to compare basically so for comparison purpose we can introduce kilogram on left hand side as well agar hum yahan pe kilogram ko bhi introduce karwa dein to kilogram ki power agar hum zero rakhte hain to it doesn't make any difference because it will be equal to 1 aur s waise ka waise aap likh dete hain इधर आके आपके पास किलोग्राम पावर p प्लस क्यू एंड सेकेंड पावर माइनस टू क्यू नाउ यू कैन कंपेयर द पावर्स ऑन बोथ साइड्स ऑफ द इक्वेशन सो अगर हम इसको देखें पावर ऑफ किलोग्राम को अगर हम कंपेयर करें तो वी गेट द इक्वेशन इधर इसकी पावर जीरो है और इधर इसकी पावर p प्लस क्यू है सो वी कैन राइट एन इक्वेशन जीरो इज इक्वल टू p plus q and from another equation the minus 1 is equal to minus 2q minus 1 is equal to minus 2q so this is your equation number 1 this is your equation number 2 and from these two equations you can easily find the values of p and q like from equation number 2 you can directly get q is equal to minus 1 over minus 2 which will be equal to 1 by 2 now when you get the value of q so you can substitute it into 1 equation number 1 so you will get 0 is equal to p plus 1 by 2 and from here you get the value of P that is equal to minus one by two. So you get the value of Q is equal to one by two and P is equal to minus one by two. So you can also use this principle homogeneity of physical equation to solve such kind of questions. And this question was of one mark. It was an MCQ.